What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following for a little while, you'll be familiar with the Miata race car chassis that I've been working on for my buddy Kevin. And this video was actually supposed to be the video of me painting it and it didn't exactly go quite to plan. It ended up being a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, which is why I didn't end up recording anything after what you just saw. But the car is done, it did come out good. I'll drop some pictures right now. So now I wanted to take this video and kind of turn it into my thoughts on these inflatable boosts and some recommendations I have if you wanna do some DIY paintwork like this on your own at home and maybe are thinking about getting one of these boosts. So first of all, one of the things that I noticed right off the bat when I started working on this car is these type of boosts are not really designed to handle a job of this size. Now physically, the Miata fit in, inside the booth fine. If you had any bigger car, you'd wanna go with a bigger booth. I didn't get the biggest one I could. So size-wise, it fit in there fine. There was room to work around the car and spray everything. But where it's lacking is it does not have exhaust like a real paint booth would. The booth does have filters, which is nice. And it also has an extra fan that is supposed to circulate air through the booth and kind of push it out of those filters. And it's fine when you're doing smaller parts, but on a bigger job like this, when you're spraying a lot, it just builds up in there and it can't exhaust it out fast enough. So one of my first recommendations would be to get a more powerful fan that circulates the air through and hopefully it will do a better job of pushing it out. Or what I did and has seemed to work out decently well, I bought another fan on Amazon that is supposed to extract. It comes with a good sized tube that attaches to the end of it and basically what it does is it pulls air out and blows it out that tube. So I set that up at the front door of the booth and kind of just closed the door around it and when I turned it on, it's pulling air from inside the booth and pushing it outside and therefore it did a, a decent job extracting a lot better than before. So I guess for what it is overall, it works decently well. It's not amazing, I didn't expect it to be. And it is a lot better than just painting out in the open. You have somewhat of a controlled environment and it has worked great for some of the smaller jobs that I've done. As far as setup and storage, that is a little bit annoying. It's pretty big and once you have it blown up, it's hard to get all of the air out of it when you're folding it back up to store it. This is usually where you'll need an extra set of hands to help you fold it up and push all the air out. Same thing with setting up, it's just big and kind of bulky if you're doing it by yourself. But once you get it unfolded and hook up the main blower that inflates it, it actually inflates really quick. It's fully inflated in about a minute. So for my use so far, I'm glad I got it. I definitely needed something like this to get me through that big overall paint job on Kevin's car. And it's really nice to have for the smaller jobs, but for me, it's not gonna be a permanent solution. But if you don't do as much paint work as I do, this could be a great option for some DIY stuff at home here and there, especially if you don't need to paint a whole car. If you do need to paint a whole car, I would recommend getting the biggest size they have because the size that I got, I think it's 23 by 13 by 11, the Miata, just barely fit in there. Any car bigger would not have worked. So I would definitely get the biggest size I have. I would think about upgrading that blower that circulates the air and possibly even getting another fan to do exhaust. Definitely a decent option for DIY once you get it set up right. Another thing to keep in mind is make sure you're not pulling too much power once you have all these blowers plugged in because if you do happen to pop a breaker, which I did a couple of times, I had to switch some things around onto different circuits because if you do pop a breaker and the main blower goes out the booth will start deflating very quickly and if you've already had some paint sprayed on something in there it's going to be a problem so definitely keep that in mind and if you were lucky enough to have a space to set one of these up kind of permanently i saw a video where someone set up a wooden frame on the inside so if they did happen to lose power the booth wouldn't fall down onto itself that would probably be the most ideal setup with one of these but yeah just wanted to share this not everything works out perfectly all the time but we did get the job done it does look good and kevin is happy with the car i'm excited to see the rest of the build come together the car is going to be getting a honda k24 so if you want to see that build come together he's going to be running it in grid life next year drop him a follow on instagram information down below but that's going to do it for this one let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff in the comments down below and if you have any other suggestions of topics you want me to cover but for now i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching have an awesome week and we'll see you in the next one Woo!